What is up? My stylish people, this is Young. Welcome back to this channel. I am back with the versus series. In this video, I am gonna compare Levi's versus Jack and Jones versus American Eagle blue jeans. Which is the best blue jeans to that matter? Which offers the best jeans in specific? In the budget, I kept this for 2000 rupees and the color would be blue color and also the fit would be slim. These are the common points across each and every jeans. Levi's to start chat the one. Hum log pehle video kiya. Levi's versus Lee versus Wrangler. Levi's was not good. I compared the 512 and 511. But at the time I got this size 32. However, it was slightly loose at the waist area. And that's the reason this time around I got this size 30 because they do not have the 31. In between option got a bad talent. Kaan Lehru. Here you guys can see this is the mid blue color and have a slight fade here at the thigh area and also at the back side area. When it comes to the fit, here you guys can see again slim stretch sits below your waist, slim throughout. That's what the 511 is all about. First things first. I like how it fits right now. Last time it was loose at the thigh area and it was uneven across. It's making slim through, but it was not. It was more like a regular fit because it's loose for me. That might be the scenario or that may be not, but this time around it fits well. I'll be at one specific area at the knee area, the fit was slightly uneven I would say, and also the size at the waist area it's slightly tight this time around for 30 maybe 31 would be perfect and levis do not have that offering but that's a personal disqualifier for me and the quality of this particular option from levis it's really great this retails at 2900 rupees and on amazon i think i got this for somewhere around 1800 to 1900 rupees price point that's a great price point and it fits well and also other thing would be the orange stitchings going across along with the buttons uh, which gives that uh, vintage vibe as with all these jeans in this video it's all about the inseam length which is 32 which is obviously 2 inches more than what i would wear inseam length matlab idhar hota hai na crotch area end hota hai from here till the end here for the particular pant whatever the pant it could be that was called the inseam length now let's talk about the disqualifier the disqualifier which i mentioned earlier that uneven fit at the knee area it have that weird folding skinny fit chipak jata hai whatever uh, if it is skinny fit across uh, for the slim tapers at that knee area you have that uneven folds that happens this do have that uh, to a major extent that i would say uh, for a regular fit that would not be a problem because regular straight cut it mostly or regular narrow cut so it would not have that uneven folding at the knee cap area uh, means on the sideways in particular loose cuts to no need to mention meer rendu saal badtar vaatillo anta loose untai kabatti so usko koi problem nahi hai when it comes to the composition here you guys can see the composition is of 76% cotton 20% polyester 3% viscose and 1% elastin but it is not stretchy by any means because it does have only 1% of elastin to it and it do also have polyester maybe that will help with the durability but it is not one of the comfortable jeans you would wear considering the other options i would say in this video ha huh. okay now moving on to the second brand for this video which is jack and jones one of my favorite brand kane bhai asked gadi video lo moving on to the slightly darker option among the mid blue it's not exactly mid blue it's a slightly darker version of the blue but it does have fade at the thigh area that's why it looks slightly ever so slightly toned Now. here you guys can see glen fit and a slim fit low rise slim thigh slim knee tight leg opening this one it have a slight distress i couldn't find one uh, in my size in specific talking about the size the size here is 32 into 32 generally they do have a generous amount of stretch i would have gone easily with the size 30 or 31 3 years before on quarter 3 years pehle actually you should size down because it used to be too loose at the waist area and also in the overall fitting but that's not the case anymore with the jack and jones option and this one is manufactured in 2023 just for the reference uh, so anything in 2022 or 2023 this applies but before that make sure that you size down in case if you are getting stock before that but i advise you not to get 2 years old stock specifically for the jeans because always make sure that jeans you get the highest quality ones and uh, if that is degraded in the warehouse almost uh, for its 2 uh, years or 3 years it doesn't make any sense and where to see always uh, make sure that you check on the tag where you guys can see the manufacturing date or at least the import date based on the brand so this one when it comes to the fit it fits nicely at the thigh area it have a slim fit to it just like the previous option levi's option and levi's option it just goes across as a slim just like a slim tapered option and this one also it stays the same it fits well at the thigh area and at the knee area it is slightly uneven as i mentioned that is the 
thing which you are going to observe with the slim fits when the slim taper occurs at the knee area but it is not as much as pronounced uh, just like the levi's option maybe because we went with the size 32 that might be the scenario as well after that it tapers a bit but it doesn't taper too much i would say they mentioned it as a tight leg opening but utna tight leg nahi open hota hai here you guys can see here it's almost it's not a straight cut but it's not slim tapered as well but in terms of the overall rise it's a low rise option not a mid rise option like a device that's something you need to consider in case if you are like short heighted let's talk about uh, the other factor which i didn't like in the device the comfort if i have to say so far in this two jeans this is the comfortable jeans to wear and this one actually retails at 4500 but i got this at 2000 rupees price point uh, but in general anything more than that 4000 rupees price range they have nice quality material and also they do have elastane to it so it is super stretchy but still it doesn't uh, fit like a skinny fit hugging jeans or a leggings but still it is very very comfortable it is slightly lengthy you can see when compared to the levi's option because levi's option is a mid rise option and this is a low rise so it's going to be even more lengthy and then even at the hem area which i would get that hemmed in case if i am keeping this option which you will know by the end of the video ha huh. now mudo brand amma last brand hai ye video ke liye which is american eagle american eagle also one of the popular brand when it comes to jeans both the levi's jack and jones american eagle these are the popular brands you would come across in case if you want to buy a jeans not specifically blue jeans any jeans for that matter that's why i chose these three brands it's really important you will get the answer very soon and this is the darkest of all when it comes to the jeans yes because it's almost like the very dark blue and a solid blue jeans means levi's ko thoda sa fade hai jack and jones ko thoda fade hunde tha area lo distress ko hunde kaani for this one it's as clean as it gets as in pleasant when it comes to this orange stitchings those have been retained uh, just like the levi's options on this darker blue particularly this orange stitchings generally they are going to look really great uh, levi's 512 options or 511 options also they do have in this color way i chose three different colors in order to give you the maximum versatility in this video but in general you are going to get that when it comes to the sizing it's a 31 by 32 one thing have you observed each and every jeans which i picked in this video from these three different brands have different sizes each and every brand have their sizing that's why these videos are going to help you a lot in terms of choosing your right size as well and they call this as the air flex model and these is a slim straight cut option not the slim tapered option which you have seen with the earlier options so what exactly i liked i liked uh, the clean look of this jeans it fits nice at the waist area and then it have this nice fitting going across till the knee area in the slim fitting and then it cuts straight because it cuts straight from the slim fit uh, till from the knee area that whatever the uneven cut at the knee area that disqualifier which generally happens with the slim tapered fits it is avoided here comfort i would say that it is just okay because uh, this one even though they mentioned it as a air flex and it does have 1% elastane to it uh, it is not stretchy that much uh, it gives more like a uh, raw jeans kind of a vibe uh, much like a uniqlo option or maybe a g star raw option uh, in the slim stripe cut format in case if you are a student if you want just one specific bottom wear in your wardrobe uh, you just want that to be comfortable because you would be wearing that to college or in case if you are going to office throughout the day so obviously comfort also matters and that too when they are promoting that as a air flex generally it matters a lot so we got all three of them right now it's the time for what exactly is the brand i liked and what i would suggest to you after all it's your choice whatever you feel the best according to your measurements you should go for that and whatever you feel comfortable you should go for that but these are just my opinions and i would say jack and jones is the winner according to me and i would tell the reasons also what exactly pulled me towards the jack and jones and what still is a disqualifier for me first things first i would say this is an all rounder jeans all rounder jeans because you get the best of both worlds you get the quality you get the comfort and you get the fitting only thing is low rise jack and jones in general usko itna low rises pasand hai walaki em bicho gaani general ga each and every jeans they tend to go for low rise hardly if i go to showroom mid rise na okato rendu dorukte ek do milta hai bas they go with the low rise but still it is as great as an option you would get and uh, this time around levis i'm so sorry again so is time bhi har gaya last time bure tarike se but this time 
इट्स गुड एनफ इट्स ए गुड जीन्स नाइस मिड राइज मिड ब्लू कलर स्लाइट फेड है बट इन टर्म्स ऑफ देर ऑफरिंग्स मेड कम्स टू साइजिंग इन बिटवीन साइजेस नहीं है एंड नंबर टू इतना कंफर्टेबल जीन्स नहीं है इन टर्म्स ऑफ द फिट गुड एनफ मे बी फॉर मी मे नॉट बी फॉर यू अगेन एंड लास्ट वन अमेरिकन ईगिल आई लव हाउ इट फिट्स पर्टिकुलरली द स्लिम स्ट्रेट कट मतलब ये दोनों स्लिम टेप पड़े स्लिम स्ट्रेट कट आई लव हाउ इट लुक्स इन दिस डार्क सॉलिड क्लीम ब्लू कलर एंड ऑल्सो दिस और एंड स्टिचिंग गिविंग दैट विंटेज वाइब लेंथ सबको हेम करना पड़ेगा सो आई एम नॉट कंस्टिंग लेंथ एज ए क्वालिफायर और ए डिसक्वालिफायर बट दिस वन अगेन दे मैंशन इट इज एयर फ्लेक्स प्लस प्लस छोड़ दो स्ट्रेच ही नहीं है सो so, हल्का सा है सो एयर फ्लैक्स और टेक्नोलॉजी भूल जाओ सो अकॉर्डिंग टू मी इन केस इफ यू आर लुकिंग फॉर अ बेस्ट ब्लू जीन्स जैक एंड जोन्स इज द ब्रांड टू गो बट नॉट ईच एंड एवरी जीन्स जैक एंड जोन ऑफर्स अगेन मलिन नगर को चेस जैक एंड जोन्स जीन्स बारह दिन जब पद दो टू थाउजेंड फाइव हंड्रेड थ्री थाउजेंड रुपीज में जैक एंड जोन्स का जीन्स स्टार्ट होता है वो इतना अच्छा नहीं होता है एनी थिंग दैट इज मोर दैन फोर थाउजेंड और फोर थाउजेंड फाइव हंड्रेड रिटेल प्राइस पॉइंट एंड देन शॉप दम ऑन डिस्काउंट एट फिफ्टी सिक्सटी परसेंट ऑफ गेट दम एट फिफ्टीन हंड्रेड टू टू थाउजेंड रुपीज दट इज द राइट प्राइस पॉइंट एंड जैक एंड जोन्स इज द बेस्ट ब्रांड टू गो और एल्स दी अदर टू ब्रांड्स आर ऑल्सो गुड बट फॉर दिस वीडियो जैक एंड जोन्स इज द विनर गाइज कमेंट सेक्शन में जब पंडित वीडियो पसंद आ गया नहीं आ गया नचते नेक्स्ट ये हॉल का वाला गोड़ा कमेंट सेक्शन में जापे हॉलसो डोंट फॉरगेट टू सब्सक्राइब टू दिस चैनल फॉर मोर ऑसम कंटेंट लाइक दिस दैट इज इट फ्रॉम मी सी यू नेक्स्ट टाइम